Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of 300 Pounds is Whack. And it is your girl, April. And before we get into this video, you guys, go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel. Like this video. Share this video. So today's edition is uh, the Keep It Real Meal Monday. And the reason why I decided to call it that is because a lot of us struggle with starting off a weight loss journey and the main thing I hear people talk about is it costs too much to eat healthy. In certain aspects that might be the case but sometimes you just have to keep it real and use what you have in your house at the time. Everybody can't afford some of the fancier things. Sometimes you have to use the basics. Sometimes you have to use alternatives. Sometimes you can't get chicken breasts. You have to get chicken thighs because they are least expensive. Sometimes it can't be boned out. I mean, <laughs> boneless. It has to be boned in. I mean, you know, you just have to start somewhere. So I decided to do an addition of that. We have some chicken thighs here. It was the skin on them. It was bone in. And actually, everybody, this is going to be probably the last time I'm going to be eating meat. However, I will continue to do the Keep It Real Meal Mondays um, for those who are still eating meat. I'm going to take a little break, but um, I just wanted to show you guys that you can just use what you have in your house. You do not have to go and buy all this fancy stuff. I have some vegetable steamers in the freezer, some broccoli that I'm going to use, and some corn. Some people that are on the health and fitness journey may think that corn isn't good for you. But if that's all you have to fill you up, you and your family, you have to start somewhere. And as far as seasonings, I'm just using basic seasonings that we all usually have in our cabinet. There isn't anything that you really need to go out and buy. These are things that you just kind of keep in your cabinet and you create something out of it create something you know you'll be surprised how you'll end up with your own recipe by being creative and not doing anything extravagant so here i'm just kind of showing you that you know i have the you know the chili powder the sea salt and right here is some raspberry chipotle everybody always goes out and buys some sort of off off the top of the off the top of the head exotic kind of seasoning to try out um that's something that i bought not knowing what it tastes like i just bought it and so we're going to see how that works out with this chicken and um everything else is basic the mrs dash lemon pepper the obey seasoning the paprika the mrs dash chicken seasoning these are just simple things that you can use on your chicken and on any meat that you prefer. Mm -hmm. 